portal is open. Wow. Okay. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Peter back here with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That, what we just saw right now, was a tech demo made by uh, Epic Games that were showcasing Unreal Engine 5 running live on a PlayStation 5. Uh, just wanted to do a live reaction. That was kind of. I was blown away. That's just that was running on a PS5, guys. That was pretty insane. And um, they did mention that the engine um, games are going to start utilizing that um, in 2021. So we won't see it until 2021. But to know that you're going to get your hands on something like similar to that eventually at some point when it, it, with your PS5, that's just insane. I mean, that just that was mind blowing. People are going to remember that. And it's crazy because this ain't only going to run on PS5. It's going to run on Series X. It's going to run on PC and all other platforms. They're going to scale it down. Um, they also did mention that Fortnite's going to be scaled to the next gen. So, And they will implement Fortnite using that engine, which I'm like, I'm not a big Fortnite player, but I know a lot of people are. So that's something that's going to be exciting for them, I guess. But my reaction, in my opinion, like, I'm just going to get straight to it, like, that right there is what people are going to remember, not like what Microsoft showed off last week in, inside Xbox, other than beyond um, Memory Infinite. That looked freaking next gen, and that's what people are going to remember. And, that, and you know what? I just wish that <clears throat> Xbox's PR messaging was better because this whole next gen stuff uh, since December, they've been clear and transparent with their messaging about the Xbox, but when it comes to gameplay, or showing off tech demos, that's where they suck. And I'll admit that. And I'm a big Xbox dude. You know, in case if you guys don't know, I'm a big Xbox guy. And I really wish they could have shown something like that. What they what Sony, what Unreal just showed off with Sony running a live PS5 tech demo. I really wish they could have shown that off at Xbox's info, inside Xbox event last week. And people left disappointed watching that show. And I'm just looking at my Twitter feed right now and live reaction people are just blown away with the tech demo that they just showed off right now running live on ps5 and i'm just i just i wish they would the messaging would be fixed they need to that's what they need to work on um if you're gonna have a full blowout in july with your first party titles and you got to show gameplay you got to get the messaging right i hope the pr team or whoever is running xbox and the pr marketing side they got to get it right in that in july with gameplay if there's no gameplay. If, the, if if July's event is anything corresponding to uh, May's event, what they just showed off last week, you can forget about it. Sony hasn't even showed off the console yet, and they showed off the tech demo, and this is what got people. This is what um, got people talking. I mean, I'm just gonna flay it out, straight out, straight out, say it. This is what got people talking. Um, my Twitter's blowing up. I'm seeing all these reactions from everybody that tuned in, and. Uh, Sony, they know how to market. They know how to market, man. They know how to market. They know how to bring in the audience. They know how to attract the audience. And they haven't showed their box yet. So, I hate to say it, guys. I mean, this gen, just next gen talk starts, obviously, when Sony comes out and, the, you know, and they show the box off. So, and I will mention this. Like, this demo that we showed off, we'll see it on the Series X. Possibly, it could run better in, or... Possibly it could look better on the Series X due to the, you know, uh, 
the more hor the the horsepower under the hood of the Xbox because technically on paper spec wise it's got more power under the hood compared to PS4 or I mean PS5 but does that power really matter if we, what we just saw right now does that extra power does does it matter is what I'm trying to say only time will tell and you will see how devs utilize the hardware of the Series X and the PS5 but I'm just thinking like if you have a big install base that Sony already has right now, how how are you going to convince them to move over to Xbox when when they're already in the PS4 and the PS ecosystem overall is what I'm trying to say. It's going to be hard to move them over to the Xbox because they're already set in stone and they, they're already in the PlayStation ecosystem. And I can say the same for Xbox well. It's going to be hard to sell. It's going to be hard. Maybe it could be hard to move to PlayStation or maybe... Because the games that they show off or, could, or are about to show off, maybe I'll get people shifting over from Xbox to PlayStation. But uh, I know Phil Spencer came out and said that they're using Unreal Engine. Most of their first-party games are using Unreal Engine, what they just showed off right now, running on PS5. And like the only thing I don't get is like if they were using the Unreal Engine, why not show Phil? Why not have Xbox and the PR team, whoever coordinated the show last week, why not have them show that footage? Why not have like a tech demo showing off what they're what you guys are using? Just a little snippet or like what like how that was like a, a minute, a thirty second or a minute snippet of a live tech demo running. Like why not just show that, Phil? And I think the Xbox just a big. I don't. It's a big mess. It's a big misstep, man. As I mentioned in my last video, it's a big misstep because they had the opportunity to kind of get the get the ball rolling, and they failed so far to do that and. But in terms of showing gameplay, I'm not talking about showing off the box, I'm not showing off the controller, some of the features. They 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 showed that off, but we want to see gameplay. When it comes to terms of gameplay, they haven't done that yet, and I I'm optim I'm staying optimistic because I want to see them do well, and I want to see a full blowout in their next event, showing a lot of gameplay and what to expect and why convince us why we should buy that Series X. But man, I mean, they got to just get their marketing. They got to get they got to get their shit together and they have to do it because otherwise nothing's going to change. Sony will continue to market. They'll, they'll continue to be the market leader. They'll continue to dominate in marketing and in their PR by showing this, you know, next gen stuff. And I just I'm excited for both. I'm, I'll I'll get I'll try to get both consoles day one, depending on how the demand, the supply is looking like. And I know demand's going to be hecka high, but the whole point of this video is like, you know what? Microsoft needs to please get their PR and their messaging right. And I'm not the one to rant, but I've seen it. And I just feel like no matter how Microsoft, how hard they try, they just will be second fiddle to Sony because Sony knows how to market. They know how to advertise their, their, their software, their content. Whereas Xbox needs to improve in that area. And this is why I said previously, like, they... Wish they would have done a better job showing some technical gameplay stuff, you know, that we wanted to see. Majority of the people that saw it inside Xbox last week, they're not going to remember that. They're not going to remember any. I mean, they'll remember bits and parts of it, but comparing it to the, what we just saw today with Sony's uh, tech demo presentation right now, people are going to remember that because that was like, wow, that was gameplay. That was possibly gameplay of what we could look forward to in the next generation. And in this case, in PS5, because they already mentioned that that was running on a PS5. So, I just think that they have to get better at, at the messaging, guys. They have to get better. And I really hope that they do. Hopefully they will. I do still expect the full blowout with first-party uh, titles showcasing their gameplay on the Series X in July when the event happens. But it's just little things like that. Like this, I meant... Um, they need to work on and hopefully they they still have two months to get it right with the messaging and PR and uh, Sony man <laughs> it's I mean Sony is gonna be it's gonna be a fire summer for Sony we got the Last of Us Part 2 coming out next month I'm hyped about it I'm just I can't wait to get my hands on the LE edition and they got Ghost of Tsushima coming out in July on the 17th and which it's all it's it, it's all it looks great man it looks great and PS5 reveal is going to eventually happen in June at some point or even sooner or whenever they want to want to make it happen. People will be tuned in. People are already tuning in for the reveal and so am I. I'm excited for PS5 
and it's just going to be a full blowout by Sony, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my video, uh, welcome to my video, my channel, I meant. <laughs> but if you want to be alerted, if this video convinced you about video games or overall just next gen, uh, please subscribe because if I make my, if I make my next video, uh, you guys will be alerted. And uh, yeah, hit the like, share with a few buddies. I would really appreciate it. It's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your day. Um, have a great uh, weekend. Uh, stay safe, uh, stay healthy, and uh, keep pushing forward. God bless. Peace.